amazing. Sweaty. It was great. Really was so sweaty, good, sorry. but very fun. <laughs> I crowd surf for the first time. Yeah, it was oh, fucking yeah. cool. For the first ever time. It was oh, the best. Was that experience for you? It felt like I was flying. I'm very <laughs> giddy right now because it was like half an hour ago and it was <laughs> amazing. It was less than that, jeez. Yeah, it was less than that. It was great. Also, like we had some pretty... Um, pretty sick mosh pits going on yeah it was like a gnarly circle pit going on yeah yeah it was great cool. it was obviously amazing it was like the coolest gig we've ever done yeah. like we found out about it quite late notice so i don't think we had loads of time to like freak ourselves out about it yeah. but yeah it was very like it was actually like a super comfortable show as well yeah. like i think we all felt like yeah really like we chill. got this yeah surprisingly yeah. before we went on we weren't freaking out like there's a couple of gigs where we're all like kind of all really nervous, pre-gig poos. <laughs> <laughs> I was out a bit. But this one we were fucking sound. We were just really excited to do it. I was well freaking out. Oh wait. You videoed me freaking out. <laughs> oh yeah, I videoed. <laughs> we felt ready for it though. Like if if we'd have got that opportunity, maybe even one year ago, two years ago, like. I don't feel like we would have been in a place where we could do it, but no. like the, the tour we did with Idols in Europe as like, for some reason that tour just, I feel like we all just grew yeah. so much. Yeah. God, it was just like playing bigger bigger stages. You just like build your confidence and yeah. the reception from the crowd, it, it was fucking amazing. So that helps as well. It was great. Yeah. Um, I don't think we went into it with an agenda. We were kind of just like um, trying to write like it was the first time we'd had the opportunity to write like an actual body of music and think about more than one song in one go. So I think we definitely musically wanted to have more space in the song, in the songs, and like to push what a Witch Fever song meant. Um, but yeah, I think it was only afterwards that we kind of realised the like overarching themes from it. Yeah, especially lyrically. Why did you say yeah? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Especially <laughs> lyrically. <laughs> especially <laughs> lyrically, like um, I. Like I get asked in interviews all the time, like whether it was like my intention, whether it's like a concept album and it just wasn't. It just happened to be that when we brought all the songs together, they all had this overriding theme, um, which I think is, is nice. It happened naturally. Everything happened naturally. Um, we weren't trying to like force anything out. It was great. Um, well, Congregation is a name of the song in the album. So it made sense in that way. But also it was kind of like, um like my lyrics are a lot about my experiences growing up in a charismatic church um which wasn't like always the best place to be um i don't agree morally with a lot of the things that we were taught um and the word congregation is like more often than not is associated with like a church um and i don't know it's nice to make it our own i say this a, l a lot in like again in interviews we're asked a lot what like why I use so much biblical imagery and it's like I'm trying to like take the words that I've been like taught and put into my brain by like men and like make them my own and you know have fun with them yeah I think we kind of just we a lot of the time I feel like we just go with the flow we we, we do like to plan ahead we do have goals but at the same time it's like if something cool comes along we'll be like okay we'll do that if um in terms of like writing, we we all we're always kind of writing. Like like we do have a little bit of uh, like breaks in between, but we're always writing. We're always thinking of new songs, and we're always like growing as musicians and wanting to write new stuff. Yeah, in in our heads, like we've already started writing album two. Like yeah. we, we don't even yeah. know whether the label will want to do album two of us. We think they will, but like we're just trying to. I think it's hard because like by the time we've released the album, it'll have been like a year since we recorded it. So for us, it's kind of like already old witch fever now yeah. like we're like already pushing where we want to go next yeah i think also we've always been more we've always been more of a live band yeah. um and that's always taken like precedent over writing so it's it has been fun to like put more effort into writing and more thought into that mm -hmm. but then also like like I, I read i think i read somewhere that like big thief they were writing an album and they ended up with like 30 40 songs that they had to like cut Release down two albums didn't I'm they just like how yeah. do you do that? <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> I feel like we've 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 gotten the best reception um, that we've had um, off the EP and the songs that we've released that are going to come out on the album. I feel like these are the best responsive like responses we've had. I always I always think as well we write a song, and as soon as we write the song, the only thing we want to do is play it live. 
So it's like we haven't released the album yet and we're already writing, like Alex yeah. said, songs for album two and we just want to play them live. Like it is all about like the reaction and, and like how you feel on stage when you're playing it. So yeah. It's, it's almost the opposite for me. I'm like, I'm excited to see with the album what tracks people like recorded more. Yeah. Cause like some of the ones we play live aren't necessarily my favorite tracks no. on the yeah, record. So it's kind of like, I kind of get, I can gauge like the reception of what people all think of our stuff live yeah. based on like how much I'm into it when I'm playing it, I guess. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm excited to hear people's favorites like on track. Yeah. Yeah. I always say my dream lineup would be us, Limp Bizkit and Scissor Sisters. Nah. Fuck off. For fuck's Solid sake. No. Come on. <laughs> Not Limp Bizkit. I'd love to play with Deftones. <laughs> I Death think that Tone. would be fucking mental. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I've just done my first ever feature on a single with Cancer Bats oh. and Cancer Bats have been like one of, they were like one of the bands that got me into heavy music when I was like 14. So I'm going on tour with them next week. So for me, it's like such a big full circle moment. Like that's been amazing. Like um, for me personally to be able to like do that with them. Yeah. But also I'd love to, I don't know, bands like, like Fever 333, obviously. Yeah horror also angel olsen if you're listening <laughs> like that yeah, i'd love to do imagine? something i'd love to write a song with you that would be you. fucking sick Blog? uh i just do i, I agree except from with alex basically <laughs> deaf sorry deaf tones for sure um yeah not scissor sisters <laughs> that's your only preference yeah <laughs> anything else but scissor sisters 